So you get this issue of gender mm -hmm. um, and how people are now steering away from saying he and she True. <laughs> and saying they instead. That's actually pretty old. That goes back uh, quite a long time, though it's being emphasized more lately. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so first of all, is that even grammatically correct? So, so what's a grammar? A grammar is the system of knowledge in your head that allows you to produce and understand sentences, and uh, grammar is always changing. <laughs> so is it grammatically correct? That's sort of an ill-formed question. It might be not grammatically correct for you, but it might be grammatically correct for somebody else because you've got one system of rules in your head. They've got another system of rules in their head. <laughs> yeah, because I'm... I'm saying because when you say they, you're mm -hmm. referring to the plural. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But when you're talking to somebody who doesn't want to be yeah. um, identified as he or she, yeah. then that's a singular. So yeah, See, it's kind of a, a, a gap in standard English, right? Some other languages have a, uh, you know, a pronoun that could be used, a singular pronoun that could be used in that neutral way, but English doesn't have one. <laughs> mm -hmm. right. So, I mean, for a long time, he was treated as the sort of uh, unmarked one that could be used in many circumstances for a male or a female. So, uh, so in something like uh, everyone thinks he should attend class. That could be used even if you were talking about a group that included women, right? Everyone thinks he should attend class. Whereas if you said everyone thinks she should attend class, then that means the group is just women. <laughs> so the he was used in the neutral way and the she was used just in the feminine way. And uh, sort of the choice was because English doesn't have one <laughs> that's obviously grammatically neutral. <laughs> so there's kind of a gap. And I think reasonably enough, a lot of speakers have used they to fill the gap. And you know, everyone thinks they should attend class. Everyone is grammatically a singular item. So everyone is here, but not everyone are here. So everyone is singular. So you'd expect it to go with a singular pronoun. Yet, <laughs> for generations, people have said things like, everyone thinks they should attend class. Mm -hmm. And I think the reason is they're using they to fill this gap. <laughs> And the phenomenon you're talking about, I think, is a not unreasonable extension of that gap filling. <laughs> it goes beyond what used to go on, but it's a not unreasonable extension of it, in my opinion.